In this video, we'll demonstrate how you can easily create a plot layout and print it. To do so, we come to the function plot layout wizard in the toolbar. And the first step is to create a name for this layout. I'll click OK for this default. Next step, we select a sheet size. We click on the three dots button to see the, the sheet size we have available. Select this sheet A2. Next step, we select a title field. We click on the three dots button and I will select this second uh, default title field I have. It will be inserted in the bottom right of my model by this uh, placement. And then we select the models we want to insert in the layout. First, I will insert this electrical installation model and I will change the scale to 1 to 50. And I click insert. And then I insert dynamically here. Next, I will insert the section A in my model with the same scale. So I click insert and I insert here on the bottom. And then I will close. This dialog information for model uh, shows some parameters such as the description 1, 2, 3, scale sheets, sheet, uh, sheet size, and etc. By uh, filling in these, these fields, this will be updated in my title field. So I could insert 150 for the scale, 01 for the sheet, and the sheet size A2. By clicking OK, this is automatically inserted. Now, I will make use of the layer display just to have a layer set up. So, I just show the, the layers I would like to, to display here. Next, I can make use of this function legend with a wand to automatically insert a legend in my model. So, I can insert this dynamically and I, by pressing the tab uh, key, I can select another node and by selecting the by selecting the legend I can resize it as you can see we have groups here and also the components with the symbol if I double click this legend I can insert a headline so I'll insert electrical legend and I can disable the grouping by selecting this checkbox. I also can make use of the button legend list so I can manually edit the name of the group headers or also the, the components. I could also turn them off. Okay? At last, I would like to insert an image in this plot layout. So I will come to the menu insert, external resource and then image file as xref. I have previously created this render electrical model. I'll click OK to, to select it. And then in a the tab rot pause scale, I will change the ratio scaling. So it will be the, the correct size here. So I'll multiply to 20. And then coming back to the tab object, I want to insert it dynamically. So I select the checkbox position dynamically. Click OK. And I'll insert here in this top right. All right. Now we are ready to print it. I will come to the menu uh, toolbar and, and select print or I could select the hotkey Ctrl P. Okay, so first thing to do is to define the printer. So we come to the tab printer. I will select this PDF creator. Next, we select the, the paper size in this field here, drop down list. I will select the same sheet size for that I have on the layout. Next, in the page setup, we have the definition of the drawing scale. If you select fit to page, you'll see it will be fit, but not 100% the, the same scale as we have in a model. So you could select the scale one, two, and then you select the scaling, or you can select the option scale as defined in the model. The next step is to, in the tab pen and font, for definition, the pen setup is selected as print. If you would like to change the pen width, color, or etc., by having the pen uh, checkbox active, you click on the edit button. 
and then you could select one of the layers and it's only uh, showing the, the, the layers displayed on my model, you see that you could change the, the width, the line type, the color and also transparency with the OpenGL Active. You could also select all of the pen at once to change if you would like, okay? Okay, now we are ready to print it, so click print. And this is the end result of this print.